Sherman and Tingle in the morning. Is it really a happy day for you there, Tingle? I don't know. I would, nah, I, I would think it'd be sad. It's not going to be. Uh, it's, it's not going to be sad. I'm not going to be sad. It's going to be a, uh, a a miserable, uncomfortable day. I just Let me tell you why. Because I'm driving my daughter to college today, right after the show. And we're taking uh, her car. And it is packed to the brim. Looks like we're three homeless people living in it. It is so <laughs> packed up. I don't know how she's going to sit. I'm going to be un- uncomfortable the whole way. We're doing seven hours to Nashville, and then we're going to wake up in the morning and pick up the other four hours. But it's just, it's going to be an uncomfortable car. She's a, a Honda, I know, a, a Mazda CX-5, and it is jam-packed. It's not a U-Haul, in other words. No, it's not a U-Haul. So the final destination of Alabama yeah, we'll be going there. And the reason why we're doing that, uh, it's so packed, is because last time my daughter moved, uh, when you people ship boxes, it takes forever to retrieve them from the destination at the school because everyone's trying to get their boxes at the same time. So we said, you know, let's just jam it all in there and just suck it up and do it. So that's going to be my day today, just cramped, Clark Griswold style in a car. See, I never experienced that at all. I, I went to college, but I, I didn't go anywhere far away. It's like one or the other. Either you're, you're, you're traveling somewhere else or you're close by. I went to a small technical school that was in Kenosha. Well, I grew up right on the border of Wisconsin, Illinois, opposed to like all everybody saying that I'm from Tome. I'm not. I, it was, I grew up in Silver Lake, Wisconsin. So I, I went to this technical school that was in Kenosha, and they had a radio program, and that's that's how it all happened. And So I would stay at home. I, I lived at home. My parents were nice enough to let me stay at home. Did you, did you like staying at home? When you're 18, 19 years old? No. Yeah. Because you're 18 and 19 years old. You want to do stupid things. And now... How long did it take for you to leave the I nest? Was, I was 20. I stopped going to school. Because they said, you can live here rent-free as long as you're going to school. Well, I was going to this technical school for radio. I already had a job in radio at the time. I'm like, well, I did all the radio courses. I'm like, why, do, why, am, I, why am I still going to this class? So I just stopped going. I didn't go anymore. And, and like, then oh. and they want to charge you rent. How much? And then my dad was like, oh, yeah, you got to. I don't remember exactly how much, but I know that it was uh, enough where I'm like, all right, well, I'll just move out. You know, if, if I'm going to pay gonna rent. pay somewhere, get your own place so you don't have to live under that umbrella. Which is exactly, I'm sure, what my parents wanted anyway. Obviously, my parents love me, but they want me to get out of the house as as much as I probably will as well. You know, huh? I worry about that to this day. I'm like, even though one is he'll be 14 next month and the other's nine, I'm like, you guys aren't living with me forever. It's <laughs> well, not happening. We'll see. No. We'll see. No. Um, Ava is super excited to leave, and she reminds me of me when I was in college because oh, I'm going to get out of there as soon as possible. Once we move her in, we're getting out as soon as possible. We're not going to like pester her and be that smothering parent because she is just so excited to be on her own and excited. When I was in college, I remember my parents – uh, it was at Arizona State, and my parents wouldn't let me, or they thought it was a better idea to have my own apartment. And at 18 years old, I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. They fronted an apartment? So they got a part- the apartment. The rent was $300 a month. It was super I think that's what my college time. cost, by the way. Yeah. It was $300. I'll never forget. It was called Meridian Corners in at Arizona State. So I lived there, and w- I remember them uh, helping me unload the stuff. My mom just gave me all her old crap she, so, you know she could unload that on me yeah. and so she furnished the apartment with that and then when i walked them to their car when they leave they got in the car and my mom started tearing up and i was just being nice and cordial and i was you know blowing them kisses and saying i love you and and i remember turning and watching them drive away and as soon as they turned the corner and they were out of sight i raised my hands and i'm like yes and I, <laughs> I'm here, baby. I was so happy to be on my own and just loving it and i know my daughter is the exact same way yeah. she is ready for a total adventure i'm super excited for her because i know exactly what she's going through it's so funny when you're a, a kid and you know I'll, I'll say 18 year old is still a kid because yeah of course it is you're not you're not in tune with emotion you don't understand i remember thinking why are they crying? Why? Why? Because I remember exactly. my mom, when I did move out of the house, I was like 20 years old or 19 or 20 years old, and I remember her getting upset. I'm like, why are you getting upset? I, you'll see me. I'm not I'm not dying here. Because, you know, you're just seeing the next evolution in your yes. child, and, and you get excited for it. But as a kid, you kind of just don't get it. And now I'm a weepy chump. I'll see a picture that my son made for me from... 
10 years ago in, in kindergarten or whatever. And I'm like, I got to put it down. I'm, I'm, I'm getting emotional just looking at that. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm totally that now. Because you remember when your kids actually loved you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. They actually, yeah. They, they yeah. They embraced me. Like, remember, right. when they, remember when you got home and they were excited to see you? Now it's just like, hi, I'm home. How are you? What? I'm sorry. I was Dad. on my phone. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't see you, Dad, when you so, walked in. Thank you, me today while yeah. I'm on that seven-hour road trip in a packed car. Yeah. Oh, Miserable. Good times. See? I understand more and more. But my, you know what? My parents always say how they had it so rough. You, I went to a college that was like 20 miles away. You know? that They were not fronting for any, what was it, apartment that you were in? Look yep. at that. See? I see. They thought I, I was uh, going to be have a better education if I wasn't in a dorm party. Instead, the guy How'd the that work out? It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he was guy at parties yeah, at my apartment. Yeah, exactly. Love The Sherman and Tingle Show. Mornings on 97.1 FM, The Drive. Chicago's classic rock.